Amarilla de C. Wikipedia article audio. The Amarilla de C. are a family of herbaceous, mainly perennial, and bulbous flowering plants in the monocot order Asparagales. The family takes its name from the genus Amaryllis and is commonly known as the Amaryllis family. The leaves are usually linear, and the flowers are usually bisexual and symmetrical, arranged in umbels on the stem. The petals and sepals are undifferentiated as tepals, which may be fused at the base into a floral tube. Some also display a corona. Allyl sulfide compounds produce the characteristic odor of the onion subfamily. The family, which was originally created in 1805, now contains about 1,600 species, divided into about 75 genera, 17 tribes, and three subfamilies, the Agapanthoidea, Alioidae, and Amaryllidoidae. Over time, it has seen much reorganization and at various times was combined with the related Lilaceae. Since 2009, a very broad view has prevailed based on phylogenetics, and including a number of other former families. Description Taxonomy The family is found in tropical to subtropical areas of the world and includes many ornamental garden plants and vegetables. The Amaryllidaceae are mainly terrestrial flowering plants that are herbaceous or succulent geophytes that are perennial, with the exception of four species. Most genera grow from bulbs, but a few such as Agapanthus, Clivia, and Scadacus develop from rhizomes. The leaves are simple rather fleshy and two ranked with parallel veins. Leaf shape may be linear, strap-like, oblong, elliptic, lanceolate or filiform. The leaves which are either grouped at the base or arranged alternatively on the stem may be sessile or petiolate and possess a meristem. The flowers, which are hermaphroditic, are actinomorphic, rarely zygomorphic, pedicellate or sessile, and are typically arranged in umbels at the apex of leafless flowering stems or scapes and associated with a filiform bract. The perianth consists of six undifferentiated tepals arranged in two whorls of three. The tepals are similar in shape and size, and may be free from each other or fused at the base to form a floral tube. In some genera, such as Narcissus, this may be surmounted by cup or trumpet-shaped projection, the corona. This may be reduced to a mere disc in some species. The position of the ovary varies by subfamily, the Agapanthoidea and Alioidae have superior ovaries, while the Amaryllidoidae have inferior ovaries. The six stamens are arranged in two whorls of three, occasionally more as in Gethylis. History The fruit is dry and capsule-shaped or fleshy and berry-like. The Alioidae produce allyl sulfide compounds which give them their characteristic smell. Pre-Darwinian Linnaeus described the type genus Amaryllis, from which the subfamily derives its name, in his species Plant Arum in 1753, with nine species, in the Hexandria monogenea containing 51 genera in all in his sexual classification scheme. The name Amaryllis had been applied to a number of plants over the course of history. Hexandria monogenea has come to be treated as either Lilaceus or Amaryllidaceaeus over time. From 1763, when Adonson conceived of these genera as Lilaceae it was included in this family, placing Amaryllis in section 7, Narcissi, of his scheme, in which the Lilaceae had eight sections. With de Jusser who came the formal establishment of organizing genera into families in 1789. 
De Jussieu established the hierarchical system of taxonomy, placing Amaryllis and 15 related genera within a division of Monocotyledons, a class of Stamina Perigenia and Order Narcissus, divided into three subfamilies. This system also formally described the Lilaceae, which were a separate order within the Stamina Perigenia. The use of the term ordo at that time was closer to what we now understand as family, rather than order. In creating his scheme, de Jusser used a modified form of Linnaeus sexual classification, but with the respective topography of stamens to carpels rather than just their numbers. Post-Darwinian the Amaryllidaceae family was formally named as Amaryllides in 1805, by Jean-Henri Haume Saint-Hilaire. In 1810 Brown proposed that a subgroup of Lilaceae be distinguished on the basis of the position of their ovaries and be referred to as Amaryllidae and in 1813 de Condal described Lilaceae's just and Amaryllides Brown as two quite separate families. The literature on the organization of genera into families and higher ranks became available in the English language with Samuel Frederick Gray as a natural arrangement of British plants. Gray used a combination of Linnaeus' sexual classification and Jusser's natural classification to group together a number of families having in common six equal stamens a single style and a perianth that was simple and petaloid, but did not use formal names for these higher ranks. Within the grouping, he separated families by the characteristics of their fruit and seed. He treated groups of genera with these characteristics as separate families, such as Amaryllidae, Lilaceae, Asphodelae, and Asparagia. Phylogenetic Era John Lindley was the other important British taxonomist of the early 19th century. In his first taxonomic work, An Introduction to the Natural System of Botany he partly followed de Jusser by describing a subclass he called endogeny, or monocotyledonous plants divided into two tribes, the Petaloidea and Glomaceae. He divided the former, often referred to as petaloid monocots, into 32 orders, including the Amaryllidae. He defined the latter as Hexapetaloideus bulbus hexandrus monocotyledons, with an inferior ovarium, a six-parted perianthium with equitant sepals, and flat, spongy seeds and included Amaryllis, Ficella, Nerine, Valida, and Colostema. Subdivision by 1846, in his final scheme Lindley had greatly expanded and refined the treatment of the monocots, introducing both an intermediate ranking and tribes within families. Lindley placed the Lilaceae within the Liliales, but saw it as a paraphyletic family, being all Liliales not included in the other orders but hoped that the future would reveal some characteristic that would group them better. This kept the Lilaceae separate from the Amaryllidaceae. Of these Lilaceae was divided into eleven tribes and Amaryllidaceae into four tribes, yet both contained many genera that would eventually segregate to each other's contemporary orders. The Lilaceae would be reduced to a small core represented by the Tulipia tribe while large groups such as Cilii and Asparagi would become part of Asparagales either as part of the Amaryllidaceae or as separate families. While of the four tribes of the Amaryllidaceae, the Amaryllidae and Narcissia would remain as core Amaryllids while the Agavii would be part of Asparagaceae, but the Alstromarii would become a family within the Liliales. Since then, Seven of Linnaeus' Hexandria monogenia genera have consistently been placed in a common taxonomic unit of amaryllids, based on the inferior position of the ovaries. Thus, much of what we now consider Amaryllidaceae remained in Lilaceae because the ovary was superior, 
till 1926 when John Hutchinson transferred them to Amarilla de C.E. This usage of the family entered the English language literature through the work of Samuel Frederick Gray, William Herbert, and John Lindley 1846. Meanwhile, Lindley had described two Chilean genera which for which he created a new family, Gilicea. Angiosperm phylogeny group The number of known genera within these families continued to grow, and by the time of the Bentham and Hooker classification, the Amaryllidaceae were divided into four tribes, of which only one is still included. The Lilaceae were becoming one of the largest families, and Bentham and Hooker divided it into twenty tribes, of which one was the Aliea, which as Alioidae would eventually become part of Amaryllidaceae as two of its three subfamilies. The Aliea included both Agapanthii, the third of the current subfamilies, and Lindley's Gilicea as two of its four subtribes. Bentham and Hooker's scheme was the last major classification using the natural approach. Although Charles Darwin's Origin of Species preceded Bentham and Hooker's publication, the latter project was commenced much earlier and Bentham was initially skeptical of Darwinism. The new philetic approach changed the way that taxonomists considered plant classification, incorporating evolutionary information into their schemata. The major works in the late 19th and early 20th centuries employing this approach were German, those of Eichler, Engler, Prantl, and Wettstein. The Amaryllidaceae were treated similarly in the German language literature to the manner they had been in English. August Eichler was the first philetic taxonomist and positioned the Amaryllidaceae and Lilaceae within the Liliiflorae, one of the seven orders of monocotyledons. Lilaceae included both Allium and Ornithogalum. Adolf Engler developed Eichler's ideas much further, into much more elaborate schemes that evolved over time, from his 1888 scheme contributed by Pax to his 1903 version in the latter, the Lilianea were a suborder of Liliiflorae, including both Lilaceae and Amaryllidaceae families. Within the Lilaceae, the core Liliids were segregated in subfamily Lilioidae from the Aliaceous subfamily, Alioidae. Aliaea, Agapanthii, and Gilicea were the three tribes within this subfamily. A somewhat similar approach to Liliiflorae was adopted by Wettstein, and with Aliata and Lilioidae as subfamilies of Lilaceae. Wettstein's Amaryllidaceae contained three subfamilies, including Amaryllidoidae and Agavoidea. The early 20th century was marked by increasing doubts about the placement of the Aliaceous genera within Lilaceae. Lotze was the first taxonomist to propose separating them, and in his system he describes Agapanthaceae, Aliaceae, and Gilesiaceae as new and separate families from Lilaceae. This approach was adopted by a number of other authorities, such as Dahlgren and Ron. Another approach was that of John Hutchinson, who performed the first major recircumscription of the family in over a century. He doubted Brown's dictum that the position of the ovary was the distinguishing feature that separated Amaryllidaceae and Lilaceae. He treated Amaryllidaceae as bulbous plants with umbilate inflorescences, the latter characteristic being the defining feature, an umbilate inflorescence subtended by an involucre of one or more spathaceous bracts. His work on this has been upheld by subsequent research and his definition remains valid today. Using this criterion, he removed a number of taxa and transferred the Agapanthii, Aliaea, and Gilicea from Lilaceae to Amaryllidaceae. Genera Other writers proposed reuniting Amaryllidaceae with Lilaceae. 
Thorn and Cronquist both included Amarilla de C.E. within a broad concept of Lille C.E. Thus Allier C.E. were variously included in either Lille C.E., Amarilla de C.E., or as a separate entity. This uncertainty of circumscription reflected a wider problem with the pedaloid monocots in general. Over the course of time, widely differing views as to the limits of the family have been expressed, so much of the literature dealing with this family requires careful inspection to determine which sense of the Amarilla de CE the work treats. Distribution the current phylogenetic era of understanding the taxonomic relationships of Amarilla de CE began with the work of Fay and Chase who used the plastid gene Rubisco RBCL to identify the close relationship between Agapanthus, Aliaceae, and Amarilla de CE. Agapanthus had variously been included in Aliaceae or was placed in a separate family, Agapanthaceae. They relocated Agapanthus within Amarilla de CE which they considered a sister group to Amarilla de CE. Nevertheless, the angiosperm phylogeny group classification still considered these three separate families within Asparagales. The close relationship was confirmed in a more detailed study by Miro who confirmed the monophyly of Amarilla de CE with Agapanthaceae as its sister family and Aliaceae in turn as sister to the Amaryllidaceae slash Agapanthaceae clade. Agapanthoidea, Aliaoidae, Amaryllidoidae In its second iteration, the APG proposed simplifying the higher asparagales by reducing them to two more broadly circumscribed families, and provisionally proposed the name Aliaceae Sensolato to include the three sister families, since together they form a monophyletic group. In this respect, they were following Hutchinson's system. Under this proposal, the three families became reduced to subfamilies at the same time, they appreciated an argument exceed for making Amarilla de CESL the formal name of the new and larger family a position subsequently strongly supported by Miro and colleagues. The 2009 version of the APG formally adopted this broad view and the conserved name Amarilla de CE. To distinguish this broader family from the older, narrower family, it has become customary to refer to Amarilla de CE Sensu APG, or as used by APG, Amarilla de CESL as opposed to Amarilla de CESS. Subfamily, Agapanthoidea endel, Gen. PL, 141. Dis 1836, Subfamily, Aliaoidae herb, Amarilla de CE, 48. Late APR 1837, Tribe Aliaea de Mort, FL. Belgium, 139. 1827, Tribe Gilly C.E.A. Baker, J. Lynn. S.O.C., Bot 14, 509. April 24, 1875, Tribe Tolbag Hiaia Endel. X. Meissen, P.L. Vasque. General, Tab. Diane. 397, 399, COMM 302. 1720 December 1842. This phylogenetic tree shows the placement of Amarilla de CESL within the order Asparagales. Cultivation and uses. Bibliography. Books. Orchidaceae. Tribe Griffinia Ravenna, Tribe Clinanthii Miro, Boreaceae, Blandfordiaceae, Linariaceae, Asteliaceae, Hypoxidaceae, Ixaliriaceae, Historical, Tecophiliaceae, 
Dor Yen Thay C. Iride C. Modern Chapters Symposia Zirinemate C. Xanthoriaceae Amarilla de CESL Asparagaceae As reconstituted by the APG, Amarilla de CESL consists of three subfamilies, Agapanthoidea, Alioidae, and Amarilloidae, corresponding to the three families that were subsumed into it. Articles and Theses Of these, one is monogeneric for Agapanthus. Subfamily Agapanthoidea Subfamily Alioidae Subfamily Amarilloidae Of the other two subfamilies, Alioidae was resolved into three subdivisions by the initial phylogenetic studies of Fay and Chase. Since they treated Alioidae as family Aliaceae, these were subfamilies Alioidae, Tolbachioidae, and Gileceoidae. When family Aliaceae was reduced to subfamily Alioidae, they were reduced to tribes, namely Aliaea, Tolbachiaea, and Gileceaea. Tribe, Aliaea. Tribe Tolbachiaea. Tribe Gileceaea. Complete resolution of infrafamilial relationships within subfamily Amarilloidae has proven more difficult. Fay and Chase's study lacked sufficient resolution for further elucidation of this group. Historically a wide variety of infrafamilial classification systems have been proposed for the Amarilloidaceae. In the latter 20th century there were at least six schemes, including Hutchinson, Traub, Dahlgren, Muller-Dobles and Muller-Dobles, Hickey and King and Miro and Snijman. Hutchinson was an early proponent of the larger Amarilloidaceae, transferring taxa from Lilaceae and had three tribes, Agapanthae, Aliaea, and Gileceaea. Traub largely followed Hutchinson, but with four subfamilies, the Amarilloidae he then divided further into two infrafamilies, Amarilloidinae and Pancratioidinae, an arrangement with 23 tribes in total. In Dahlgren's system, a splitter who favored larger numbers of smaller families, he adopted a narrower circumscription than Traub, using only the latter's Amarilloidae which he treated as eight tribes. muller Dobles described ten tribes. Hickey and King described ten tribes by which the family were divided, such as the Zephyranthii. Miro and Snijder considered 13 tribes, one with two sub-tribes. The further application of molecular phylogenetics produced a complex picture that only partially related to the tribal structure considered up to that date, which had been based on morphology alone. Rather Amarilloidaceae resolved along biogeographical lines. A predominantly South African clade identified as Amarillidae was a sister group to the rest of the family. The two other African tribes were Hemanthii and Sertanthii, and an Australasian tribe Colostemmata was also identified, but a large clade could only be described as Eurasian and American, each of which were monophyletic sister clades to each other. The Eurasian clade was poorly resolved with the exception of Lycoridae. The American clade was better resolved identifying both Hippistrii as a tribe. The American clade also included an Andean clade. APG System Pharmacology Further investigation of the American clade suggested the presence of two groups, the Andean clade and a further hippistroid clade, in which Griffinia was sister to the rest of the clade. Similarly within the Andean clade Eustephii appeared as sister to the remaining clade, including Hymenocolidae. A new tribe, Clinanthii was also identified in this group. 
the Eurasian clade was also further resolved into four tribes, Pankrataya, Narcissi, Galanthi, and Lycoridae. This positioned Lycoridae as sister to the remaining Mediterranean tribes. Websites These relationships are summarized in the following cladogram. Databases Tribe Amaril Lydii Tribe Sertanthi Tribe Hemanthi Tribe Colostem Mata Tribe Lycoridae Tribe Galanthi Tribe Pankrataya Tribe Narcissi Tribe Griffinia Tribe Hippistri Tribe Eustephii Tribe Stenomessia Tribe Clinanthi Tribe Hymenocolidae Publication of the third version of the APG classification and acceptance of Amaryllidae CESL was accompanied by a listing of accepted subfamily and tribal names, since the change in rank from family to subfamily necessitated a revision of other lower ranks, as follows. Family, Amaryllidae CEJ.ST Hill, Expos. Fam. NAT1. 134. Feb APR 1805, Nam. Cons. This circumscription differs from the phylogenetic descriptions of Miro and colleagues in several respects. Griffinia is recognized as a distinct tribe within the Hippistroid clade, and Stenomessia is recognized as polyphyletic with two distinct types based on leaf shape. The laurel leaf species of the type genus of Stenomessia, Stemomessin, were transferred to a new tribe, Clinanthii as sister to Hymenocolidae in the Andean clade. The remnants of Stemomessin then formed a distinct clade with Eucharis and Eucharidae renamed as Stenomessia. The Angiosperm Phylogeny website lists 73 genera and 1,605 species within Amaryllidae CESL, while the plant list gives 80 genera and 2,258 species. Amaryllidae CE are a cosmopolitan family, whose distribution is pan-tropical to subtropical, but infrafamilial relationships are related to geographical considerations. The Amaryl Lydii tribe is primarily South African, and Hemanthii and Sertanthii are also African, while the Colostemmata are Australasian. Other elements are Eurasian and American, including an Andean subclade without necessarily following strictly tribal delimitations. This leads to discussions of for instance American Amaryllidaceae. The Eurasian clade includes Lycoridae. The American clade includes the Hippistrii, Eustephii, and Zephyranthini. The Amaryllidaceae include many ornamental garden plants such as daffodils, snowdrops, and snowflake, pot plants such as Amaryllis and Clivia, and vegetables, such as onions, chives, leeks, and garlic. A number of tropical lily-like plants are also sold, such as the belladonna lily, tuberose, blood lily, cornish lily, and the Eurasian winter daffodil, Sternbergia. Their economic importance lies in floriculture for cut flowers and bulbs, and commercial vegetable production.